Hello and welcome to another video from Double O Rail. In this video, we're taking a quick look at Bachmann's covered hopper wagons or cove hops. Um, these are in British industrial sand livery and they have the um, product code 38 502. Now, these are a standard Bure design of a covered hopper wagon and they were built between 1952 and 1961. Um, I I think this particular livery with the uh, BIS sand for uh, Rocker Glass Limited was a uh, later uh, livery. Uh, I know if from doing a little bit of research, I think um, Rocker Glass became Rocker Glass Limited in and around 1956. Um, so these would have been uh, kind of in the in the later range of ones that were built. Um, now the uh, Covered hopper wagons were uh, basically a standard beer design for carrying powders and um, basically they could be unloaded by gravity most of the time without any assistance. Uh, some of them were fitted with various apparatuses to, to shake or lift um, the contents of the, of the wagon, uh, but in general they were designed to be unloaded um, by gravity. Uh, most of these were condemned by uh, 1982 and they were replaced by either uh, PCA wagons or polybulks. Uh, so you may have seen that traffic services or polybulk um, larger uh, freight wagons on the layout before. So those would have uh, been after these particular um, cove hops. So um, these cove hops are uh, a CHP um, codon, so uh, they were designed for, for carrying sand, um, but there's a, a wide variety of uh, cove hops that were, that were out there with different codes uh, for various different purposes. So um, what we're going to do today is uh, show you um, one of them, we're just going to open one box and give you guys a quick look at it. Um, in terms of pairing uh, locomotives with these, um, I've seen photos uh, in the earlier, um, kind of when they were first introduced, um, with steam locomotives like 9Fs, uh, also some um, kind of uh, 8F, as well as a couple of other um, kind of steam locomotives. I think I've seen a few with uh, a Q6, which might be um, hard to find and ready to run. Um, and then uh, later on, those uh, locomotives were uh, diesel locomotives that hauled um, these particular uh, cove hops. So you would have had um, class 37s, class 40s, um, you could have had um, class 08 shunters. I've seen a, a good few um, with class 08 shunters. So it really depends on the distance that they had to travel. Um, now these are in um, Biora, kind of a bauxite color. Uh, so that means that they uh, were fitted uh, with uh, vacuum um, pipes, um, so that also changed uh, the braking force of the train and, and so on. So um, what I'm going to do is just open one of these up, uh, so you can see. Uh, I was propping the thing up, and uh, there's probably not much to it. Usually, Bachman don't give you really any information on the rolling stock. You're kind of gonna do your own research. So you see, just like an empty box, and um, same kind of design. So I'll pop that out again. Uh, you don't have to touch the wagon. Move the packaging out of the way, and then uh, I'm not going to be too worried about touching the wagon with this. But we'll we'll try to limit it. Uh, looks like it has uh, NEM maybe. Yeah, it looks like it has uh, NEM sockets on there. Metal wheels, good bit of detailing underneath. Comes with the uh, small uh, tension lock couplings. Um, you can see there it says uh, CHV. Has a running number of, um, looks like it's uh, B870861, if my eyesight is uh, working there. Um, has various uh, stickers for the overhead on there as well. Um, and it has good bit of detail on there. So, um, that's basically uh, what it looks like. So I'm going to go put that on the test track. I think I have a class 08 shunter up there somewhere, so I might put a few of them on the test track and let you guys see them. Um, but that's basically it for uh, for this video. I just wanted to show you those. Now obviously um, they would not stay clean like this uh, very long. So um, upcoming video, I'll uh, show you how to weather these 
and um, we'll show you when we're running on the layout as well at a future date. All right, so um, I'm going to show you the close-up on the uh, test track, and then uh, that'll be it. So I hope you enjoy that, and until next time. Alright, so uh, here you have the uh, cuff ops uh, up close on the layout here, or at least on the test track. Um, and you've got the uh, class 08 there, um, just pull them into view. So um, I'm just going to leave the shot up so you can take a quick look at them in detail. Uh, I guess I've already shown it to you uh, coming out of the box. Um, they work really well, look real nice. Um, definitely need to be weathered though, so we'll, we'll get on that over the next uh, week or two. Got plenty of projects, but thought you guys would uh, like to see this. And uh, we'll just pull it out of shot. 